Now, we are going to take up one more problem on projections of laminas, the problem number 93. A pentagonal lamina of sides 25 mm is having a side both on HP and VP. The corner opposite is a side on which a trace is 15 mm above HP. Draw the top and front views of the lamina. So this is the problem and the solution is here. So we need to solve this problem by using AutoCAD software. So first we will go to the AutoCAD screen. Switch off the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. Now the command is limits. So take the lower left corner 0, 0, upper right corner 297, 210. Then zoom all. Then go to line. Select some arbitrary point and click on first button of the mouse and drag the mouse towards the right side. Take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. Again, you take the cursor to the top side. Take some distance and click on first button of the mouse and then go to offset. Take the distance as 297. Offset, take the distance as 297, select this vertical line and offset to the left side and then go to offset, take the distance as 210, then go to zoom, all, take zoom 0.6x, then go to fillet, in this vertical line and this horizontal, in this vertical and this horizontal, then go to this horizontal and this vertical, then go to layer, Click on new layer, type the layer by name XY, enter, click on new, type the layer by name front view FE, enter, click on new, type the layer by name top view TV and enter. Now the layer 0 will have a line weight of 0 0.05 because all the projector lines will be in 0 0.05 which is in layer 0. Then the line weight of XY line will have the thickness as 0.13 and save OK. The front view will going to have the line weight as 0.5 and the top view will going to have the line weight as 0.5. And to do that, then go to top view, go to color, make that as magenta and then the front view will going to have the blue color and say OK. Now we will going to go for the final uh, drawing which you need to be drawn by using AutoCAD software. So first we will just go to polygon command. Select the number of sides as 5 and take the edge option and select this and take the uh, side as 25. You just type 25 here. Then go to line, select some arbitrary point and draw a horizontal line and take line intersection of this and draw perpendicular to this. Then go to line, take INT of this and draw perpendicular to this. Then go to line, take INT of this and draw perpendicular to this this line. Then go to fillet between these two and fillet between these two. Once you do that, then go to this, go to layer, make that layer as uh, front view. Then again, you just click on this, go to layer, make that layer as top view. Then we make the line weight display on. Then go to zoom window, you take this. Now we need to draw to the next position. So to do that, so first we will go for TDIM, select modify, so you just uh, primary units up to second decimal point, then go to text, take the text height as 3, align with the dimension line, center becomes above, so this dimension is 3, symbols and arrows, take the arrow size as 3, then you come down to lines, take the offset from the origin as 3, say ok and say close. Now, once you go for dim, you take INT of this and take intersection point of this. So, you are going to get this as 38.47. Then go to line, take INT of this and draw a horizontal line. Then go to offset, take the distance as 15. Select this, then go to circle, take a circle, nearest point on this, take the radius as 38.47. Then go to break break this circle here and similarly here on this side then go to erase erase these two and also erase this then go to copy so first you will go to break this line first point take int of this and say at the rate then go to copy select this line take end point of this and this end point should be center of this once you do that then go to rotate Select this entire thing, take base point, select end point, then reference, the reference angle is 180 degree, then the new angle as intersection point of this. 
one should do that then go to break then go to break break this line and you also break this line then go to move select this entire thing and move it here then go to line take end point of this and then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this line similarly then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between this and this then go to line take end point of this and then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then similarly line int of this and draw perpendicular to this similarly line take int of this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this line similarly fillet between these two and then fillet between these two then go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this and take int of this and take int of this and take int of this then go to extend extend this fill to this boundary and extend this line then go to break break this first point take int of this and say at the rate then break first point and take int of this and say at the rate then break first point take int of this and say at the rate now you change all these uh, five lines and change it to top view layer go to layer make that layer as top view so once you do that then we have this you rotate and keep it on the xy line so to do that first we're going to draw the xy line you draw this on this side and take int of this and draw this then go to copy select this entire thing and copy to the next position and then go to rotate select this then rotation angle by 90 degrees then go to move select this entire thing and then go to nearest and go to perpendicular to this line and now you just go to erase erase this then go to line take int of this and take intersection part of this similarly then go to line take int of this and draw a horizontal line then go to line take int of this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this go to line take a uh, int of this and then go to fillet between these two sorry then go to fillet between this line and this line similarly fillet between these two one should do that then go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this and take int of this and take intersection point of this and then int of this now you just select all these uh, four lines and go to layer make that layer as front view one should do that then go to break break this line till here and you break this line till here now we need to go for ddim then go to modify so go to primary units make this as zero and say okay and say close now we will go for dim go to intersection point of this and take int of this so you will going to get it as uh, 25 then go to nearest point on this and perpendicular to this line so you're going to get it as 15 then you just uh, come down to d text uh, so here you mark this as uh, you just go to d text uh, select this take the height as 3 rotation angle of text as 0 so you mark this as x and you mark this as vp and you mark this as hp and you mark this as y so here put up the caps lock a b b you mark this as c you mark this as d and you mark this as e. similarly a dash b dash and then c dash and then d dash and here you mark this as e dash once you do that then go to zoom previous then go to zoom window 
then go to move you take x and you mark vp and you mark hp so here you mark this as a you mark this as b you mark this as c and you mark this as d and you mark this as e so here you keep it as a dash and you mark this as b dash you mark this as e dash you mark this as c dash and you move this as d dash once you do that so you just select this entire thing by using window select this layer go to front view and cancel it then you just click on all these five points and also hp and then go to layer make that layer as top so once you do that then go to copy so now you select a dash and you keep it here then b dash then e dash then you go to c dash and then you mark this as d dash similarly you just copy a that a will come here and this b that b will come here then you go to c c is here and also here then go to d that d will come here and then you mark e and that e will come here then go to d text huh? so here uh, you mark this as a dash you mark this as b dash you mark this as c dash and you mark this as d dash and this as a dash then just go to move take a dash b dash c dash and d dash and e dash so you select all these uh, corner points of the pentagon then go to layer make that layer as front so now this is how you will be able to write this sketch by using uh, draw this drawing by using autocad software this drawing and this drawing are one and the same this is how you will be able to get the final drawing by using autocad software thank you